um, offensive line. Uh, ups and downs this year, but it, it sort of seemingly, you know, getting into a little bit of a form. Is that accurate? What do you think of their performance lately? Yeah, we believe it's accurate. I think we talked about last week a little bit with you guys. Um, you know, I, th I think sometimes, of course, there's always proof in numbers and production and all those things, right? Um, but then you also got to make sure you dig deep to see where you're at, how you can get better, and then where are you getting better at. Um, and I, th we believe absolutely they've continued to take steps. Um, and just because we, we've taken a couple steps backwards, but then also some steps forward, doesn't mean it's a, you know it's failing. It's just part of the process of playing with a group that's younger. And and we, but we've got to take the right steps to make sure that we're not talking about it next week or next year or those things. And um, those guys took a step. You know, you could you could tell it. I know there's been a lot of clips. Um, float across social media and those things about uh, how they strain to finish. And um, I think that's just a byproduct of a continued collected effort to push our guys from our guys up front um, across the board to make sure we get guys on the ground, make sure we finish blocks, make sure we strain just a little bit more to free the ball up. And that was a good game where it kind of those things culminated into something to where it really developed in some good production. So um, good steps, and it'll take the same kind of effort this week. Yeah, it's uh, and again, it's one of those things. Of course, uh, making sure you got a good plan for your players as a staff, and uh, doing what your quarterback executes at the highest level—that's certainly something you're always thinking about, week in, week out. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you talked about it, sure at Kansas State as well. Like in that game, uh, the fact of the matter is, is for a lot of different reasons, and things came together. We didn't make plays at times when we needed to. And in this game, we made a lot of plays. You know, we were on time with the football. He was decisive as the decision maker. Our wide outs and pass catchers attacked the football, and we made plays. You know, um, and there's really nothing more to it. You'd love, you know, you'd love to say, oh, it's, it really, I mean, that's it, right? You, and we have to have blind faith in our players. Our players have to have blind faith in each other and us. Um, you preach that. You continue to practice it. You tell those guys, go make plays. Let's, let's see what we can do and uh, sing the song after the game. So, in short, really, the guys made plays across the board. Protection was clean. A lot of things have to happen to be good on third down. And then at the end of the day, you got to make some special plays and, and put the ball in the right spot and, and break on the ball properly. And we, we did that. What's your plan going into a, a night game facing a 2-9 and nine team? Is it like anything goes? Is that how you kind of go about thinking about how you're going to deal with these guys in terms of what they're going to present to you? Yeah, I think um, – good question. I think that, honestly, here it is. Like, this, it's the same approach. Well, we don't have – we're the same way. You know, we go into last week and you say, hey, let's, let's, let's go do this. This is more about us playing quality football, um, as specifically in the stuff that, that I know we're responsible for as an offensive staff, to play quality football, get better, and have something we're proud of. So we went out and, and did those things with things we still need to improve. No different going out there at 7 o'clock, 6 Central, um, this Saturday night. Like, it's about us getting better. Um, we didn't make it last week about playing who we were playing or a particular brand, um, horns up or horns down. The, the, nothing was mentioned to that staff. Like, let's get better and let's be proud of the product we put on the field. So, today at practice, we'll go out, force our guys to make sure their mentality is to, to make it about being better this next game, trying to do it even better than we did last game. And then you get lost in the process. Um, and it's not a cliche statement. It's just you get lost in the process of making sure we hold a standard of Mountaineer football as opposed to worrying about what game number it is in the win column or the situation or environment that there may be or may not be. It's just really about going to go play football because it's the right thing to do the right way. Personnel-wise, uh, 15 Johnson, he's the guy that jumps out. Is it what you see from on the tape? Yeah, he's a matchup issue for us in pass rush. Um, we've got to know where he is and, and have a good plan for him because he can disrupt the game. You, you've seen, I'm sure, John, on film that he has and did. Um, so we can't, you know, we got to do everything in our power to make sure schematically and by personnel and strain that we don't let him do it to us. And Neil thought their, their safety is an all-conference type guy. Yeah, he's a good player and he shows up a lot of different ways. He tracks the ball really good. Um, he works downhill in the box and comes and tackles the football very well and plays with high energy, does a really good job from what I understand in the return game as well. So he's a complete player. Jared, it sounds like you all have kind of thinned things out a little bit.
what you do well and picked out stuff that guys do well versus what may work against the defense. How do you do that? Is it results completely, or is it things that maybe didn't work, but you think just one small tweak and that will be something that you do well? How do you fit what's good for you? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, you, all, you certainly got to always push yourself to do things um, schematically that attack what you see week in and week out. But, you know, sometimes in, in the world of technology, you almost at times probably watch too much film, maybe look for too many things and instead look at, okay, what do our guys do really well? What does our quarterback do well? Um, and then find ways to make those duplicate, maybe where they look different to the defense, but they're the same to us type things. Um, so it's a cat and mouse game of finding enough answers, but also doing what we know we can execute against different looks um, and things that the defense will change. Because very few teams in this conference, if any, just sit there and line up for you and give you stagnant looks that allow you to design specific things for that. So you got to have multiple answers. So I think that that maybe to answer your question would be it. Just having a way to to know, hey, we're going to execute this against a lot of things. Like it's something that we've really preached to our guys, especially in the second half of the season, has just been, hey, make our plays work. You know, it may not be ideal. Um, it may not be exactly what we want. It didn't really happen the way you wanted it to. Find a way to make the play work. Let's move on to a new rack of downs, and, and we'll see if we can't get it done in that rack. Jared, what goes into – decision to keep Letty in to pass protect or getting him into routes. Obviously, he's a good receiver, but is it as simple as we're not blocking very well, we need an extra body? Uh, what goes into that thought process? Yeah, probably probably not that simple, you know. I mean, <laughs> honestly, um, just, a, just a difference in, hey, do, do you want him out and about by, by protection and how many do we want to get out in routes? Um, do we want to shore up our protection and do things off of a six-man type pro or seven? There's several different numbers go to in, into it. And then, of course, him getting touches and getting him in space factor in as well. So, probably a lot to answer you. Growth-wise, where have you seen Wyatt Milam grow this so far? Well, um, you know, the, the biggest thing is, is he's in a point now in his career where at a young age he's played a lot of football, meaningful football, in meaningful games. So, what better to stand in that fire at his age and be able to progress the way he has? And I, and I do. I think that Coach Moore – Coach Brown and everybody involved has done a really good job of progressing him the right way. Um, failure is good, but too much failure isn't. You know what I mean? Uh, so he, he's had to fail some and play young, but he's failed just enough, found some success, and then found. And now he's at a point now where the game slowed down a little bit. Um, he's starting to play fast. He's starting to play physical. Um, other guys around him on this football team, on offense, defense, and everywhere have noticed those things. That breeds good confidence. He's practicing even harder now, along with the rest of our offensive line. That just breeds a sense of, hey, this is, this is a standard. Let's make sure we meet or exceed it. Neil mentioned that Letty maybe had a few more carries than he would have liked. Is that something you guys – have to do a better job of keeping track of? Is it just a flow in the game type thing? Or? Yeah, I mean, we always got to be aware of it. It's no different than, uh, especially this late in the year, it's no different than a pitch count for a pitcher, you know. Um, we've got to be careful because it's, I mean, it, we're at week 13, game 12. Um, Letty has played a pivotal role in, in this football program and in his career and certainly this year. And, and we know we've got to make sure we do things uh, to get him the football unconventionally that allow him to take some big hits off, which I think we've done that better this year. But at the end of the day, that was a physical, physical game on Saturday, and he took a big load of it uh, to get us to where we wanted to, which was to sing that song after the game. So we're going to have to be careful, make sure we keep an eye on it to to not go over and exceed his touches and, and keep him healthy. Um, but we also know there's a physical component to week in, week out, so other guys will have to step up as we find a way to finish this thing. Kansas games, I assume they've been vulnerable to big, big plays. Uh, you guys have had your best success of time of possession, y'all keeping the ball away. Uh, do you have to change a lot to, to, to try and take advantage of what you've seen? Um, not really. You know, I think we're at a point now where maybe we're finding some rhythm. And so, you know, there's, there's a, a piece of it of find, making things fit for what we do the best. And then um, – where we take our chances and finding new plays and different things we have to do would be off film we see from them. And then just making sure it doesn't, doesn't tip the scales as being too much for us. So we won't change all that much. Um, we'll, we'll commit to what our guys do and know that uh, 
we empower them to make them work. So I, I think that's where we're at in this late in the year.